Hi, it's Randall from Armarine Jones with this week's tips and tricks. This week we're going to cover safety gear on your Riviera. Okay, the first item we've got is the all important EPIRB. A couple of things with an EPIRB is that you're able to test to see if it's working by a test light on the top. And secondly, EPIRBs do expire and they're not serviceable. So if they're expired, you need to purchase a new EPIRB. Today our next safety item is your flares. We have six flares here, two parachute flares, two yellow and two red. The main thing to check with your flares is the expiry date. If the flares are expired, it's illegal to have them on board. So our next item is the life jacket. Today we're using the inflatable type. If your life jacket has ever been used, so somebody has pulled the tag, you'll note that this canister here is only usable once. That canister is replaceable and purchasable from a chandlery. Different manufacturers of these inflatable jackets have different rules. So I would suggest you pull out the information card and understand what expires and what needs servicing at what point. Now this is a real simple one. Here we have a torch, but it's not a normal torch. It's a waterproof torch that floats. This one's an in a LED type torch, so it uses less power. My suggestion is that you're checking batteries every three months and potentially every 24 months buying yourself a new torch. Okay, now we have the communication device, which is a VHF radio. This one's a handheld. Commonly the handhelds have rechargeable or replaceable batteries. I suggest that you check your VHF radio every time you're on board and replace the batteries every six months if they're replaceable type. So here we have the common handheld fire extinguisher. Two things with this is that this particular one has a gauge so you're able to see the lever in the green. That means that it is packed, ready to go. Second thing is they all have an expiry date. Fire extinguisher this size that's expired is better to just buy it new. Uh, it's not worth servicing the smaller type fire extinguishers. So there we go, we've covered the safety gear that you'll find on a Riviera or any boat for that matter. Next time we'll cover a little bit more depth, life rafts and fire bottles inside the engine room. I hope you enjoyed it, we'll see you next time.